Hey yo, Faleo just stepped in. Now listen, 99% of you are not subscribed yet, which is appalling. Okay? So I'm gonna need you to go and fix that. Pause this video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And turn on post notifications. And while you're at it, hit the like button. You see what we have going today, man. DDG just posted a video about him finding out who broke into his mansion. Now, we're not gonna waste any time because it's kind of a long video so we're just gonna go straight into it we're gonna get straight into it <clears throat> let's go the money you know what irks me? the fact that people say I swear to God They... Like you really like I won't be here for one for you See DDG has a neck for this bro He has a neck for this The cinematic feel is there The music in the background The flashbacks Come on he, has, he, he just has a neck for this You know what I'm saying Like I would like you really like I And look at the shade. He's in tears, bro. He's a good I actor. Look at him. The money. The like acting you really is like, there. I won't be here it's for all day. You know what I'm saying? Like I would not like appreciate that shit. You really my dog, dog. So like I said, some shit like that happened. Bro, you already know every time we travel, anything, nigga run up to talk crazy. You already know who the first person online. Say you swear you ain't do it. I swear on my mama I ain't do that shit. He swore on his mama, bro. I forgot about that. I forgot about that, bro. <clears throat> if you swear on your father, your mother, you swear on God. Who can doubt you? Like, you swearing on these people's lives. So it must be the truth, right? Why do people do that? Words carry power. If you lie swearing on someone's life and they end up dead, then you're the one that's gonna be like, why did this happen? How did this happen? You know what I'm saying? Take that serious, man. But it's obviously scripted. I mean, I was going to anyway. You don't have to tell me to watch the video. Before we start this video. But that's for you guys. You that just watched the video for three or five minutes. Watch the full video. Right. Video I want to put y'all on game on the NFT project, man. This is one that I'm rocking with. Y'all know I be into the NFTs. Got the board eight worth 500k. If I would have found out about board eight a couple years ago, I could have got it for 600 dollars instead of 360 thousand. But I'm still making profit, so you never know what. Yo, NFTs is the way to go, dude. Yo, NFT, yo. I want to jump on the NFT wagon, bro. But man's low on, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? This project gonna blow up, but this is one that I believe in. So stay tuned. An NFT is basically just like a digital art that you own. It's only yours. No matter how many people screenshot it, you're the only one that actually own it. And they're very, very rare. So they hold a lot of... Listen, basically, it's not just a picture, right? It's, I think it can be anything digital that has a digital signature on it. That, that you can own on the blockchain. But let's take pictures for example. Like you're saying, a digital art piece or picture or whatever. On the blockchain, right? It's like a painting. Like the Mona Lisa or Picasso stuff, right? Now, Picasso has a few paintings. Leonardo da Vinci has a few paintings. The Mona Lisa being the probably the most famous one. But now let's say someone buys the, the real Mona Lisa 
it's worth millions of dollars, right? But there are replicas out there. They are fakes. And people can own those. They are kind of... I mean, they're not valuable at all because it's not the original painting. But people sell it as the real thing and people pay a lot of money for it. But that's the thing about NFTs. They are a lot harder to fake. Why? Because it's on the blockchain. It has a digital signature to it. So it's almost impossible to be fake. You get me? Only one person can own. If the Mona Lisa was an NFT, there's only one of it. Only one person can own it. And the person who owns the real Mona Lisa has the digital certificate for the, Mona, for the NFT Mona Lisa on the blockchain. And you can see it. You can look it up. It's on the blockchain. You can actually see who owns a board ape. You, you, you can look it up right now. DDG says he owns a board ape. You can look it up. of value and you make a lot of money so i'm telling y'all about this now so y'all can get in early in so you ain't gotta pay a lot of money like everybody else is buying these board apes for 400 dollars. so i want to introduce y'all to the arab metal social club man they're offering a lot of giveaways cash giveaways yo someone he's on to something because someone bought the um what's this uh some kind of guru NFT. Someone bought it for a million dollars. I saw on Instagram. Someone bought a, a something guru. Like a mystical guru NFT for a million dollars. It's crazy. They hold events in real life. The Discord. You can talk to people. And the, links, the link to the video is in the description. If you want to. You know get all the details to this. Listen. I'm. I'm watching this whole... I'm, I'm about four, like 15 minutes in right now. I might watch the... I'm watching the whole video. But for you guys, I'm just going to get to the, the good parts. Because he, he, so far, he's just flying around and whatnot. Dubai, and I think he's in Japan now. And he's going to some kind of place where he has to take a uh, uh, hour-minute uh, flight and a 50-minute boat ride to get to the resort he booked or... Yeah, I'm not gonna put all that in here. So I, I'm just gonna get 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 to the good parts. At the Shay and at uh Baby Rich, if you're watching this, keep watching. I think I'm ready for what's gonna happen. I don't even know what's gonna happen. What is this? I've seen the videos, man. I've been watching y'all DMs. I've been seeing y'all DMs. And it's funny that niggas get to coming out saying that they did it after I leave. You know, which is smart. Very genius. That's 4.0 valedictorian mindset. Smart for you to do that because you would have fucked around and got hurt. I just want y'all to know that I know. I'm well aware. I've seen all y'all messages. I appreciate y'all snitching. That's the thing. I realize that with this whole situation, a lot of y'all snitches. There's nothing wrong with that if you snitching to me about some shit that happened to me. But you a snitch. <laughs> but it's cool with that. I want you to look yourself in the mirror right now, record yourself, and then tag me on Instagram and say, my name is such and such, and I'm a snitch. And then tag me, because you is a snitch. You told me that they did. They end up coming out and saying it anyway. I'm going to react to the video. I didn't end up watching them. I just got off a 16-hour flight. You know, I'm not really thinking about what's going on. They're just relaying the message. Everything got a plot to What you twist. mean? Because <laughs> I was in my head like, who's Dejan? <laughs> they never, <laughs> only Dello calls, um, yeah. Took me a while to get to Hello. Oh! What you doing? Shit, man. Shopping and shit, man. I'm in Dubai. You where? I'm in Dubai. You ain't in a damn Dubai. Look. Oh, so you can. 
Genre les gars, ils ont la musique. 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 Nah, I didn't. I, I, I've been, I've been, I checked Rich and all that shit, but you know, whatever, man. I ain't breaking y'all. Nah, I know, the same Rich did it. Yeah, nah, I wouldn't do that. I'll do a lot of shit. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, if it was you, I would've whooped your ass, but it wasn't, so I'm, so we good and shit. I'm, uh, oh! but if you see the Shay or, or Rich, if you see any of the niggas around, Tell him I'm looking for him. Put your, uh, so you, you apologize to me. Yeah. So get on your knees and shit. Oh! You want me to get on my knees and apologize? That's the best thing you can do, shit. All right. Let me tell my knee real quick. Oh! Somebody, oh! He needs oh. some milk. I'm sorry. I accept, man. I accept. That means a lot. All right, I love you. All right, man. I love you too, man. All right. Especially with everything going on at home and shit. So I'm just out here vibing, having a good time, man. And uh, I want y'all to know something about me, man. If I ain't ever mentioned this before. If I never mentioned this before, ever in my life, y'all gotta know one thing about me. In high school, I was valedictorian. And when I say that, I mean... You said that many times before. I knew people was gonna run in my house. Oh! I knew somebody was gonna steal my money. Mm. And really what's gonna blow y'all mind is I knew who did it the moment that I watched the footage. So why didn't you confront them? The same Alexander McQueen's Baby Rich wear, seen them. Black shoelaces. Who put black shoelaces on Alexander McQueen's, on white ones at that? Only a nigga with a gap from Alabama would do some shit like that. He gave himself away. Baby Rich is like five foot. Deshae is like four nine. So he the only person that could compare in height to Baby Rich. So I was like, you know what? It gotta be out of them two. It gotta be them two. So I put it all together. And I'm way smarter than leaving uh than leaving money out. You know, if I don't know if y'all watch the uh surveillance footage, but uh it was sixty thousand dollars stolen Just from me. Just laying there. Just laying on your dressing. The Shay and Baby Rich, if y'all watching this right now, money's fake. I want y'all to just go to y'all money real quick. Go to the money that you stole from me real quick. Okay? I want you to pick the money up and I want you to look at the back of it and I want you to read the top of the back of the $100 bill. If you read it correctly, it's fake. it should say, oh. now, this might look like it's a lot of money, but it's fake. Motion picture use only. For motion picture use only. Congratulations, you played yourself. Damn! <laughs> oh my God, did he cheat? Got it! continued oh I'm on the next video for sure but that is how you end a series oh, <laughs> oh I'm ready for it oh that was amazing nah I give it to DDG he used money they use in movies that was an insane play wait nah hold on hold on
Pants. Why am I getting so excited? It's all stays, man. It's all stays. I screw it. That was an amazing play. <laughs> that was a dope play. I'm not gonna lie. But hey, great video, man. Link in the description below if you want to see the whole journey he had to take to get there. Uh, yeah, go watch that video, man. But before you do, subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit that like button and comment down below what else you want me to react to. Listen, I read the comments, okay? I'm in there. And I will get to it eventually. But let me know what you want me to react to, man. Come on. Anyway, guys, it's been your boy, Phileo. Take this, and I'm out. I'll see you in the next one.